I'm just going to jump right in uh, to uh, to an Aurora RDS instance that we have here. So we're going to start uh, in in the RDS instance, and in fact, I'll show you a, a quick diagram of uh, of what we'll be doing prior to uh, prior to showing it to you. So when it comes to migrating from MySQL specifically, there are several different options uh, to migrate over from single uh, to single source. The first uh, is schema migration and single source pipelines. So what that really means is you're going to migrate all of your schemas manually over into a single store from RDS as an example, and then use what's called single store pipelines to actually pipe that data in. That's a great option to ensure that you have accuracy of, uh, of making sure your shard keys and your sort keys, which we're going to discuss today, uh, and your single store schemas are accurate. And then you'll leverage single store's greatest strengths uh, in terms of uh, you know, getting parallel ingested pipelines into, into the database. So that's what you'll see today. So that's option number one. Uh, the other option is doing a MySQL dump. So if you're if you're familiar with MySQL, you use MySQL today, um, you, you, you've probably done a MySQL dump before, which you'll essentially get all of your data definition language and then a, a bunch of insert statements on how to get that data into your new MySQL database. Uh, given that we're MySQL uh, wire protocol compliant, uh, this is also a great option. Now there's some uh, intricacies here, um, such as uh, such as foreign keys, referential integrity constraints that. Uh, that may not align one to one, and then of course there are additional things that you'll uh, add into your single source schema, like shard keys and sort keys, as mentioned. Uh, that may change if you do a MySQL dump. So uh, the last option here is really for more large scale uh, migrations. We partner with several other uh, third party migration tools uh, for uh, you know for for much larger implementations like Blitz Replicant, HVR, Debezium, and there are several pros and cons uh, for each of these. So so. Uh, Blitz, as an example, has native, native single store connectivity, snapshot, and continuous capabilities uh, to, to do that migration for you. Uh, Debezium, as an example, has that native MySQL connectivity um, to, to sort of uh, mimic uh, and be able to connect into single store. So that's, um, that's just a quick brief on some options. And, and actually, here at Single Store, we're, uh, we're actively developing uh, additional options for you to do uh, migrations more natively to single store as well. So more to come on that. So just a bit on today's demo. So as I mentioned before, we're going to start with Aurora MySQL. We're going to have uh, a few different tables in, uh, in a MySQL instance. Uh, and then what we're going to do, as I mentioned, is export those schemas uh, on their own and then export the data on its own. So they have two separate paths here. So the data is going to go to S3. Uh, and we're going to actually review those schemas add shard keys and sort keys, which are specifics to uh, distributed database systems, which I will explain here during the demo. And then we'll take that data itself and, uh, and, have, uh, and, and export that into S3 and then pipe that into, uh, into single store uh, simply with a, with a simple SQL command. So we'll, we'll do that and then we'll have the data in, in single store and then I'll showcase a few transactional queries, analytical queries, and even geospatial queries within single store. So, just a, just a quick preview into what you're going to see today. We'll do some simple selects out of, uh, of Aurora. We'll get it into S3, and then we'll pipeline that into single source managed service. So without further ado, I will dive right in. So I'm going to start by, uh, you know, I've, I've created some tables here. So I, I have a database, which is a package delivery service database. So if you can imagine what a package delivery service uh, would have in their tables would be locations, uh, geography reference tables, package data, scan data, things like that. So I've created some tables here. Uh, first location, which has a primary key of location ID, uh, geography, which has a primary key of location ID, and, and a few more tables on the scans and packages as well. So let's just take a look at these tables real quick. I'm gonna do a count from location. You can see I have seven locations, pretty straightforward table, and uh, geography corresponds the same. But once I get to package, you'll see that we're gonna be analyzing uh, or migrating 1 million unique packages worth of data here today. Uh, and then the scans that correspond to that, those packages are about 7.3 million scans. So uh, the goal here will be to get all of that data out of, uh, of Aurora RDS and into single store as fast as we can. So uh, as you can see here, there's a, you know, we'll, we'll do, do a quick uh, query on the scan data. So you see we have several scans uh, on, you know, unique packages, things like that. So I'm just going to start by uh, starting to get this data out into S3. So I just do a uh, select and out file um, format CSV. Single store can uh, take in CSVs very easily. So we're just going to, we're going to do that to start. 
So you can see here uh, in the bottom right, seven rows affected. So seven rows have been written. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for the rest as well. Should be pretty straightforward. Another seven rows have been exported out of our RDS. And, uh, and now I'm gonna do my scans table, which you know, scans are the seven million records. So that might take you know, 10 to 15 seconds uh, uh, or so. But that, all that data is gonna get exported uh, into S3. Okay, it looks like it happened in 10 seconds. So that's great. So my biggest table is now out of, uh, of RDS. So I'm gonna do my packages table now. And my package table, hopefully, yep, just in a second and a half, I've gotten all of this data out of RDS. And now let's jump into the single source side and get that data. All righty. So now I'm in the single store customer portal. So what you're looking at here is the SQL editor within our managed service. So this gives you the ability to query uh, anything within your databases that you have within our managed service. There are, uh, there are several videos online on spinning up uh, a managed service instance uh, from small to large in Azure, AWS, GCP, uh, all within the portal. And we, we provide $500 in free credits for anybody that wants to do that. So I'm gonna skip that part today and go straight to the migration component. But uh, again, there are webinars, videos, et cetera, for you to go check out how to actually spin up a cluster in the managed service if, if you'd like. So I have a new database here called S2 Express, mimicking again, the same package delivery example. What I'm gonna do is just start with the package table. So I'm gonna create this table and you can see there's something a little bit different about this table that I'm creating than I did in RDS. So I have my package ID and then the receipt date of that package within the table. But I've actually added two different keys here that I wanna make a note of. One is gonna be my clustered column store key, also known as a sort key within single store. That is going to dictate within my column store, within universal storage, uh, as it's called within single store, how my data is sorted within each column set. So right now I want to actually sort this by date because a lot of my queries are going to be actually doing date ranges. And so my data is already sorted by date, it's gonna be a lot faster to access that data. And then I'm gonna shard by package ID because I'm doing a lot of joins within my tables so on package IDs. So if I wanna join my package table to my scan, data, uh, scan table, if the data is distributed within the cluster by package ID, it's going to be really easy and fast to get those localized joins uh, from table to table if I'm sharding uh, or distributing by package ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to scan and we have a similar concept here where we're sharding by package ID and, uh, and we're keying, our, our, our column store key here is gonna be on scan because we'd like to have the order of, uh, of, of scans here so we can quickly find scan IDs that we're looking for in our queries. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. In the next couple of tables I'm going to create are actually reference tables. So something to note within single store is a reference table uh, is actually going to be is going to be a table that is that uh, is located on every leaf node of a single store cluster. So every node of a distributed cluster uh, will have this reference table location and this reference table US geography. We typically do these with small tables that don't change a lot. So we can quickly do reference joins uh, from uh, from table to table. Uh, within single store very fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my reference table here and my reference table here. So now I've defined all of my schemas with single store syntax, with single store uh, shard keys, sort keys against, again, my SQL syntax just with the shard keys and sort keys there. And I also have had, added some indexes as well. So, so you can see all the created, tables are created and I can go to show tables and I see all of my tables in S2 Express. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and ingest data. So I'm gonna create a pipeline here. You can see I've created a pipeline just by saying create pipeline to that S3 bucket where I dropped my data just a little while ago. That data was sitting in US East and I'm dropping it into table location. So I'm essentially taking that same S3 file that I just brought out of Aurora and bringing it into single store. So I've gone ahead and do that, done that, and I'm gonna do that for my geo table, for my package table, and you can see these pipelines are getting created very fast, and for my scan table. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna hide my AWS credentials from you. <laughs> uh, so I've created all of my pipelines, and I can do a quick query into my information schema and 
and see all of these pipelines files that have been created. So what you'll see here is that I have four pipelines from four unique tables that I just have, have established. So now these pipelines are listening, ready to listen from all those files that I just put in S3 from, from Aurora. And, uh, and, and it says unloaded here. So it shows me the file size that it's gonna go grab from S3, but it's unloaded. So data is actually not in yet. What I'm gonna do is just start with my scans table and test the pipeline out and make sure that that data is mapping appropriately. So it's just gonna take 10 records and map them and see if that works out. So as you can see here, the first 10 records from my table have mapped out perfectly into the scans table. And this tells me I'm good to go with the migration. So I'm gonna go ahead and start all of my pipelines from each of those S3 files now. And I could also do this with a simple command, like start all pipelines, but uh, I've done them all individually here. And now the data should start flowing into single store. So I'm gonna do a count from location. You can see all seven of those records are now in the database. I'm gonna do a count, oops, count from the US geography table and all seven records are in the database. Now let's do package, it's a bit of a larger table. So maybe the whole thing isn't in yet. Nope, so all 1 million records in that 10 or 15 seconds that we've been talking uh, have been inserted into the database and I'm certain that all the scans wouldn't be in yet. Nope, looks like all 7 million records uh, in the last 20 seconds have been ingested from S3 as well. So not only have you seen now how easy it is to migrate data from RDS into single store via S3, but you've also seen how fast it is to get that data in. So, so you might be thinking to yourself, well, you know, I don't have four tables. I don't, I don't have only seven, eight million records. Well, uh, we've gotten in seven million records on our smallest instance here of single store managed service. So, uh, so if you have say a billion, two billion, 10 billion records, uh, for example, in your tables, uh, it would it would uh, not take very long to get that data into a single store. So let's go ahead and just run some sample queries here. So let's run a simple select from the package uh, table where package ID equals uh, this. You can see within 35 milliseconds, I've grabbed that. I'm gonna do a simple join here uh, on, on some of these tables. And you can see within, uh, within now 29 milliseconds, I've joined two of the tables based on the shard keys that I created get that lightning fast performance. And finally, I'll do a quick geospatial query here uh, where I'm really just gonna to try to see what the distance is from each uh, distribution facility to the next that this packet has traveled. And I can go ahead and do that. You can see uh, on my second run here, after we've gotten the plan of the query, we have 24 milliseconds to get the entire uh, scan log for that specific package. So this has been a quick demo on how you can take your tables from uh, RDS MySQL, migrate them to single store in under 20 minutes, and, uh, and myself or my team would be more than happy to help you uh, with that migration as well. Thank you.